Welcome to another edition of Ask a Dev. I'm Kevin Harwin. Today's question comes from Dan, and he wants to know, what's the best way to manage localization across Android and iOS? That's a great question, Dan. Localization for iOS and Android can quickly get out of control if you don't have a sound strategy for maintaining it going forward. The biggest mistake you can make is simply not managing it in one place and duplicating keys and values across iOS and Android, forcing you to manually keep them in sync should any copy change. You also need to create a plan around how you would get new text localized as you iterate on your product. Here at Mutual Mobile, we've worked on many cross-platform projects that require localization. We've settled on a tool called Twine, which can be found on GitHub, to help manage our localization efforts. Twine is a command line utility that allows you to manage all of your translations in a single file and then export them to your iOS and Android projects in the proper formats for each platform. We actually create a Git repository just for localization and manage all the changes there. Twine also has a sophisticated tagging system. We leverage it to segment off translations into particular feature sets and release milestones to make it even easier to generate files to send off to our translators. Once they have been translated, Twine lets us easily import those strings back into the master file, where we can then export them to the mobile projects. A few other tips and tricks. When creating your localization keys, make sure you use a unique naming convention. We typically go for a reverse DNS style approach, where we go from high level feature to specific use of the text. For example, the title of a navigation bar on a map screen, we'd call it maps underscore navbar underscore title. It just makes it easier to group things if you sort alphabetically. And make sure you don't use periods in your key. They don't play nice with Android. We also empower our designers and copywriters to work directly with Twine as well, so they can flush out their designs and submit new strings to get translated. This allows developers to just run the export and get the most up-to-date keys from design. There are a lot of other details to worry about when dealing with localization, but having a sound overall management strategy is the best place to start. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.